Holy Right to check out some homegrown talent right here in the Angleterre. Meet the founders of A Third Foot. Chris, uh, can, I, can I go a little bit yeah, faster? Yeah, why don't you like, you know, gun it, yo. I'm Ken. This is A Third Foot. Come in. sat around for many a year on the dole, so uh, anything was better than what I was doing. It was a natural progression, just from doing nothing and saying that you're going to make boards for a living and then feeling obliged to do it almost because of your endless whining about, I want to do something for myself. To start with the raw wood, seven ply, straight construction. The gluing is the next part of the process. Glue together, it started with press in the I think it was the early 80s, and uh, yeah, we've progressed onto you who. Always like we are. Three or four years ago, first had the idea, we thought we could uh, actually do it as a business. People just can't believe that you're actually making a board. Uh, it's been the American magic wand around for many a year, yeah. and uh, we're just trying to break some of those myths and show that we can make a good board. The individual sheets are pressed together in a double former to uh, produce a concave and a kick tail and uh, a spoon nose and tail. How do you think they're made? I think they bend them with steam or something. <laughs> I think they carve them from trees. How do you make them? I mean, I find that a funny question because uh, there's so much to tell. You can't, you can't answer it in a, a sentence. And, uh, next stage, pop it on there to rest. And that's left there to cure for the time. There is no one way of making a board. I mean, each manufacturer's got their own special processes they've just grown up using, so they've stuck with them. We have to keep a careful eye on air humidity for curing, for wood storage and for pressing. Too wet, you'll have a flexi board. Too dry, you'll have a snappable board. It's a very fine line. Take them into there as blanks and uh, cut into shape. As my assistant will show you, <laughs> um, board uh, clamped in this high-tech vice. Nibble to size. <laughs> Rast. We've got a new concave to take over from uh, Dave concave. We're going to uh, progress onto Steve's as uh, most Steves know what they're on about with concaves, we find. I think kids have got their favourite two or three companies and they'd always like to stick to a, a board from that range. When we started skating, there was only a handful of brands. Now there's hundreds, so you've got a lot of choice. Not necessarily a bad thing. Routed, sanded, buffed, uh, lacquered, and then ready to print. Job done, really. Graphics conceived by my girlfriend after watching a TV programme, as all the, the best graphics are. They're very proud of this new range. And how do they get sent? Uh, via courier pigeon, generally. Little satchel, as it goes. As far as up north, as far as down south. He's working hard. And now they're uh, new lightweights, his job's a lot easier. Test team, I mean, that consists of uh, Bob Sanderson, Norman Winters, Ozzy Ben. Simon Paplo, Damon Levin for all, Ollie Todd. Taking our first few prototypes around here, there are plenty of people that people know have tried it, but they've sort of never stuck it out to get to the stage we're at, really. They're just a pair of uh, complete stubborn.